Hello and welcome to Coil Match 3. This is round one of Carpe Noctum versus Sons of Newath. Sons of Newath are playing the human side with Commander Tick and players Jumbo Muffin, Zordanus, Ben William, Stony, Metalstorm, and Bilbum. On the Carpe Noctum Beast side, we have Commander Shmekurashu with players Ikarumba, Yoshitsune, Tawas, Torment, Fralian, and Numbrain. So, as we get the game started, the whole of the Sons of Newath human team rush towards the south, where one of the Carpe Noctum squads is trying to build the south expansion. Heavy pressure immediately goes on the south Carpe Noctum expansion, and with uh, all six players of the Sons of Newath's side, they successfully manage to push that building sublayer down. This is a good, strong early start by the Sons of Newath. A few moments later, the Sons of Newest notice that a sub-layer is being built in the north by the other Carpe Noctum squad, and they send teams to intercept. There is a hard-fought pitched battle at the north, with both commanders dropping buffs on their players. Carpe Noctum do have spawn portals nearby, however, and with the addition of some more conjurers, that north expansion makes it up, but only at 50% health. There is a constant influx of Sons of Newarth on the north expansion, continuing to pressure it, and the conjurers have to continually repair as they fight off the attackers. Meanwhile, in the Sons of Newarth main base, an armory has been built and an arrow tower built at the north to stop any quick attacks from the Carpe Noctum squad members. Meanwhile, at the south, there are small battles taking place as Carpe Noctum try to build the south sub layer again. No tech so far from the Carpe Noctum side, no sign of a nexus or sanctuary as yet. Meanwhile, to the north, that constant pressure from the Sons of Newarth continues, and battles rage around the Carpe Noctum's north expansion. The majority of both teams meet each other head-on, and the North has several pitched battles. In this particular battle, Carpe Noctum gain the upper hand and push Sons of Newarth back towards their base. Carpe Noctum attempt to build a Stratospire in the North, but it is quickly destroyed by a pushback by the Sons of Newarth, and again they are fighting at the own sublayer. A strong pushback by Sons of Newarth successfully destroys the North Expansion. As soon as that North is clear, Sons of Newarth start building their own garrison at the North. Carpe Noctum attempt to retaliate this with a quick sub-layer in the Northeast, but it is spotted early by the Sons of Newarth squad members who run in and destroy it. Carpe Noctum have the edge in the technology. Sons of Newarth have an armory, whereas Carpe Noctum have a nexus and a sanctuary, giving them access to shamans. These shamans can make use of the useful mind warp ability, as shown here. At this point in time, both teams advance their technology. Carpe Noctum building a charm shrine, whereas Sons of Newarth build an academy. The majority of Carpe Noctum spawn as behemoths from their south base and assault the Sons of Newarth main technology. They target the academy first, and with five behemoths the academy goes down. Sons of Newarth rally defenders to the cause and begin killing the behemoths one by one, but with that number of them their technology is destroyed piece by piece. Although this is not a game-ending move, the amount of cash lost in that technology, as well as the advantage in melee skills on the field, is going to hurt hard.
three of the five behemoths make it to cause some damage on the Sons of Nuith main stronghold. One by one they are taken out by rallying defenders. In the end, the Carpe Noctum player Torment is the only behemoth left. And all on his own, he is slowly picked away by one Sons of Nuith Savage. Sons of Nuith take advantage of the distraction of the behemoths to build a back door in the northeast. However, Carpe Noctum spot this and send in siege units to destroy it. Carpe Noctum try their own back door on the west side, however it is spotted early by Sons of Nuith, who send in the majority of their team to quickly finish it off before it goes up. Quick overview of the bases now. Carpe Noctum have damage to two of their main tech buildings. However, the last of their tech buildings, the Predator Den, goes up. The south is owned by Beasts and his towered. If we have a look in the main, we see no main mine and slightly damaged stronghold, but Monastery and Armory have been rebuilt in a tucked away location from another possible behemoth rush. Carpe Noctum have now built in the middle and are now in the process of fully towering it. This is in preparation for a Hell Shrine. Sons of New Earth rush the sublayer and the towers to try and take it down, but with the addition of predators, it is hard work. Sons of New Earth build a siege workshop to help their building destruction abilities. Carpe Noctum successfully defend the middle and a Hell Shrine is being built. Taking advantage of the distraction by the Hell Shrine, Sons of Nuith try another backdoor in the northeast, but it is spotted by the Beast Commander, who sends the newly spawned mouse to destroy it. At this point, five out of the six beast team have spawned as Hellborn. They have one siege unit and three mouths and a devourer, all of which assault their nor the north base. First they destroy the garrison and then start heading towards the Sons of Nuith technology. With the behemoth covered by three mouths and a devourer, it would be very difficult to get through them. However, where is the Sons of Nuith team? You might be wondering why one mouth went off all on his own to assault the enemy main base. That would be me, and yes, I took a wrong turn. In the end, it proves a good move as it distracts the Sons of Nuith team from the siege units destroying from the north. This number of mouths in combination with a behemoth is too much for the Sons of Nuith to handle at this point. And the stronghold goes down. First round victory to Carpe Noctum in 33 minutes. A good round played by all. You are mine now. You belong to me. We've destroyed the enemy stronghold. We are victorious. Good game. Good game.